What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Jedi Jive. My name is Mike, and I'm super excited because I'm going to watch another episode of Invincible. Last week's episode was easily the craziest episode since the first episode where Omni-Man took out the Guardians of the Globe, and Battle Beast showed up last week, and that just took things to a whole nother level. And it seems like that character is pretty much just, you can't beat him. Because I have I pointed out in the comments, like, Robot shot, like, basically a Death Star beam right at, at Battle Beast, and it didn't seem to affect him much at all. And then at the end, after basically, like, just killing everybody, he was like, you guys aren't worth my time, and just, like, disappeared. So, hopefully that character's going to be returning soon, and we want to see him face off against at least uh, Omni-Man, if not, like, Omni-Man and Mark simultaneously. But I, he seems like the guy to beat now, and he didn't necessarily seem so much of a bad guy uh, more so that he seemed just like it was about like the fight and just like the honor in the fight in general. So he might end up being kind of a cool character that we like uh, just beyond the fact that he's obviously OP. Um, but obviously uh, the fact that Omni-Man was sort of just watching the whole time just further makes him seem even sketchier. I think it seems pretty obvious now that like not necessarily the re the main reason he killed the Guardians, but like Mark's in becoming more powerful, inheriting his powers when he turns 18 has obviously changed the, whatever's going on with Omni-Man's sort of arrangement with this planet because we did see him take out that entire alien planet and then be like, Earth isn't yours to conquer. So it, it basically seems like Omni-Man wants to take over Earth for the Viltrumites, but his family situation and Mark and Debbie and Mark getting powers is just complicating everything. So although... Obviously, Omni Man is sketchy. It's still a little unclear, like what all the motivations are and what's gonna happen. So I hope we learn more about that in this episode, and that um, hopefully that Battle Beast character comes back because, goddamn, he just tore shit up in the last episode. I want to see more of that. Uh, there's definitely been a balance between like crazy action and sort of like more emotional character development scenes in this, and I like it all. But I definitely hope we can get a lot more action now because, um. That's definitely what I think what a lot of us are here for, and it makes for a fun reaction. So anyway, I'm going to dive right in, and let's have some fun. But that's not important. What's important is that I'm motherfucking Doug Cheston. Oh, my gosh. Didn't your dad hike up prices on that baby medicine everyone needs? <laughs> totally, yeah. Oh this guy's totally about to die. Do one or ideally all of you want to... Have sex tonight and get in on the ground floor of my inheritance? <laughs> it's me! I'm what you're missing! Me and my huge trust fund. <laughs> what? Okay. What? What's going on? You're going through a metamorphosis. Is it gonna be like a cyborg robot? If this is some joke or some weird sex shit, my dad's gonna sue you into the Stone Age. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, ah! What the fuck is that? No histrionics, oh! please. What the fuck did you do? Or oh! <laughs> oh! Are you kidding me? You're better without vocal cords. You're going to be beautiful. You're going to be in. Oh my goodness, that was disturbing. Oh, dude, Monster Girl. I hope they can fix her. Oh, Black Samson's alive too. Oh my gosh, dude, they're all effed up. Blood pressure's cratering. Someone get Dr. Barclay in. That is I'm getting graphic. a line started. The needle won't go in. Oh shit. Begin a saline infusion of 2% belladonna root, 5% wolfsbane. We don't have that. Then get it. He's fibrillating. I thought he was a goner, dude. Going Come on, Black charge. Sam. Come on, buddy. One more time. Yeah, one more. Yeah, buddy. Oh, is he gonna have like extra like electric abilities now? And he has a yes, dude. Okay, he he probably just inherited some new superpowers, right? He probably just became like Electro Man, right? Thank God, whatever tore him up was sharp. Oh, she's chewing him out. 
We know Viltrumites are basically invulnerable, though. He's like, he is invincible. Mom. Oh. Sweetheart. I knew you'd pull through. <laughs> oh, man, they're headed for a divorce. <laughs> Six days. Six oh, days? Oh, shit. You're supposed to... Uh, the prom! <laughs> Amber. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I covered for you. Oh, man. Black Samson? Monster Girl? Still unconscious. Okay, so nobody actually died. Dark blood crack yet? Let me take a swing. I'll make him talk. As fascinating as it would be to watch an unstoppable force meet an immovable object, I prefer to keep these kind of things in house. <laughs> He's immovable, huh? Did he murder the guardians? Really? <laughs> you. Omni Man wants to kill Cecil so bad. I still can't believe you wouldn't let me see you in the hospital. Yeah, they had uh, weird rules about visitors. <laughs> Start over. It's not just like she's gonna find out eventually. Just rip the bandaid off. You're right. Can't keep that secret forever, dude. Yeah. When I was at the community center with Amber, something clicked for me. <laughs> I think I can help more people by just helping them, you know? Maybe fighting off alien invasions isn't in either of our futures. Maybe we both need a fresh start. <laughs> hey, be careful. Don't have too much fun. No drinking, no drugs, and no sex. <laughs> No sex. Thanks, Got Mom. It. Going out? Need to pick up some dry cleaning. Well, that's not sketchy, Debbie. You're on a deadline for the book. Isn't that what you told me, or was I mistaken? <laughs> then you've got work to do, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> oh, she was just so short with him. Uh, Omni Man is in the doghouse. Oh, is it clean? Did she clean it and put it back? Oh, that's like a big fuck you. Did you have a good time? Uh-oh. Is he gonna have to unmask himself? Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> it's invincible. Come on, how does she she has to know it's him? Oh, okay. William knows. Yeah. Okay. If William knows, then Amber has to, right? Unless she sees him up close, right? Well, Mark's feeling better. <laughs> oh, what? Dude, this thing is powerful. It's Doug Cheston. Oh, he sees himself. Oh, he killed himself. Get. William. You can make me think wow. Amber just doesn't know. Who was Come that? on. That was man invincible. Guys, the police are on their way. Where the hell did you go? Come um, on, dude. I, I tried to get security, oh, but there wasn't anyone. Lying piece of Wait, shit. Wait, no. Like... You took off. You left us here with that thing. Come on. That that's not what happened. You said you wanted to start over. You said that. You promised. Snore. Come on. Eve was wrong about you. That's the last time I leave anyone's frontal lobe intact. Hmm. Oh, that guy's the next Classic specimen. Alpha male. I mean, I don't really see the main reason why Mark can't tell Amber. Just, I mean, I don't know. Thanks, Art. Okay, she, she didn't clean it. She just replaced it with some something else. Those are from Darkwing's throwing weapons. Are those burns? From something moving real fast. Red Rush. Maybe they attacked him first. Nah, now she's in denial. This is the oldest blood on the suit. Nolan struck first. Don't tell anyone. I'm too scared to tell anyone. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nice. 
Oh, the... She can just, like, create a forest. What? Okay, so she's basically Scarlet Witch. Now take me flying or I'm gonna tell everyone you're invincible. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Uh oh, you're super handsome. Low key mega party at our house tonight? A fraternity. But like the okay kind that isn't super douchey. <laughs> right. Should I grab some You're so dead. I'm loving it. Oh, is William no gonna see him get please. killed? I'll be back soon and we can deal with that. Oh, well, Rick's dead. Or right, Rick's getting chopped up. Call me if you really can't find Rick, but I gotta go after Amber first. All this because you just can't tell Amber something that she's gonna figure out eventually. Rick! <laughs> That's not super sketchy or anything. You see <laughs> Now's when you call the cops. Don't go in the sewer. Are you there? Wow. You really like Rick to be following him down here, man. What's the matter, Art? You seem a little nervous. No, no, just uh, tired. Uh, lots of repairs. Oh, this can't end well. Like you said, never piss off your tailor, right? Oof. Okay, well, he, uh, I hope I hope he doesn't die. But Omni Man, Omni Man was pretty clear just there. What? You're a little nerdy for a frat guy. And she's like already crushing on this dude, bro. You seen anyone? I was. Oh, dude. All right. Not now, William. We got Amber, bro. I, I can't hear it was you. It's a perfect opportunity to forget about Amber. I'm not turning people into anything. I'm fixing humanity's weaknesses. Wow, that guy's insane. Oh my god, Rick! It's no use appealing to his emotions. I removed them myself. <laughs> oh my god, he literally took his brain out. Or his, yeah, his frontal lobe. <laughs> okay, he sees. Are you crying? No, no, stop! You'll ruin yourself! Oh shit, go Rick! You're not going anywhere, asshole. <laughs> nice! Oh shit! This is about progress, science, saving the human race from disease! Oh, he broke his jaw, dude! Dude, he like punched his jaw right off his head. Oh my god, dude. Oh, and he's still alive, too. God damn, dude, that was brutal. Can you help them? We'll do our best. Go home, kid. I'll take it from here. Oh, man. This is gonna be interesting. Confrontation. I know. I know you killed them, Nolan. You're drunk. We'll Ooh. talk about this tomorrow. Ooh. Fuck you, Nolan. Oh. That punch hurts the hardest, man. Ooh. Dang, dude. Is there more? There's always more. There's always more. We dig up the immortal, drink from his skull, and wham! We get his powers. Easy as shit, man. Dude, I saw it on Reddit. Don't I saw it on Reddit. You read on the internet, kids. <laughs> All right, dude. So that is obviously a sticky, sticky situation. I mean, the man has himself in. 
obviously, like, as we've learned, like, Viltrumites are basic, they are invincible. Like, they couldn't kill the Viltrumite cells. Like, it, and if they are, there is a way to kill a Viltrumite, it's, you can't do it with normal means. You gotta have some sort of exceptional power to do it. And, uh, you know, Omni-Man's been found out. Debbie called him out, and Mark Hamill's character, I forget the name of the guy that makes the suits, but he... You know, Omni Man went over with some beers and and tr tried to see how much he knew, and it was obvious that he was nervous. And Omni Omni Man gave him the basically didn't he didn't say it outright, but he let him know like you say anything, you're dead. So at this point, Cecil and his people are they know like they they kind of expressed that they knew before about Omni Man. They just needed to like they didn't have a way of proving it, or they didn't have they didn't like know what to do about it. I think because they are, they know Omni Man is basically undefeatable, undefeatable. So, uh, most of this episode was actually supposed to be kind of like the Mark and Amber storyline. And to be perfectly honest, like I was kind of bored through most of that and not really feeling it because it was not because it's not it's. I don't want to say it's cliche. Uh, because part of like like I said earlier, like part of what I liked about the show so far is that it's managing to take itself seriously and not take itself seriously simultaneously, which is a very hard juggling act. But this show has been doing it very well. In this episode, I did kind of feel like the cliche started to outweigh the it taking itself not taking itself seriously, and it, it just kind of got annoying that Mark can't isn't still isn't telling Amber and is willing to like reap the consequences of not telling her in terms of like, you know, their relationship suffering and him having to, like I said, do the Clark Kent Lois Lane act where he's constantly running into a telephone booth, like changing into his invisible outfit. And then somehow Amber doesn't know, even though it's just like a mask that you know, doesn't even cover his cheekbones, basically like William had to be like a foot from his face before he was like Mark. So I just don't necessarily believe the storyline that, like, Amber hasn't figured that out at this point, considering, like, all of the times he's just myster mysteriously disappeared and then, like, come back injured. And this time, literally, he disappears and then Invincible shows up. It's just, like, I feel like there should have been, like, if William found out, Amber should have found, found out. So now they've used that to, like, play up the storyline of, like, her being angry at Mark again and him still feeling like he has to, like, be normal around her and like go to college with her and it's basically like mark's superpowers are this like inevitable thing that he has to deal with and there's no way to like be normal which sucks but it's like his father is omni man his father's a viltrumite he's half viltrumite he's inherited these powers and now he has to deal with it so that's why i'm like i don't understand why it isn't just just tell amber it's not gonna what, what are they gonna like what's gonna happen that isn't already happening that's worse i just and then, like, they have Amber go ahead and, like, treat Mark like he's just being a dick again. So, at that point, I was just like, all right, like, we like Amber. We like to, you know, we want Mark to be happy. But, like, at the end of the day, it's clear that somebody like Adam Eve, who lives the same superhero life that Mark does, only, like, her family knows about it. Like, she obviously had, like, Mark and Adam Eve are therefore, like, more compatible because they're superheroes and... I think inevitable. I don't know what's going to happen with Amber, but obviously she's going to find out one way or another. Uh, like I said, being perfectly honest, the Amber storyline started to sour on me this episode just because I didn't feel the need for Mark to keep it a secret that long. And then I didn't believe that she wouldn't know it was him at that point. So seeing the way she treated him after the fact, that may be reasonable from her perspective, I guess, but it didn't seem realistic. Uh, but anyway, I was hoping we would get more of the Battle Beast character again, but then... Um, it turned into more of a storyline with that DA character, that like evil scientist guy that was, that was a very much so like a mustache twirling villain, um, style villain, or he was clearly just like, an, like a nefarious bad guy. But I did like that character and, um, I, I it was a fun storyline, just sort of like having those alternate bosses where he was like changing Rick and those other Doug, just like random frat boy, college boys, just turning them into like killer robots who ended up put, picking, putting up a pretty good fight with Mark. So um yeah that was uh another test of mark which he didn't seem to do very well although he is still recovering from getting his ass handed to him so uh, i wasn't surprised that he wasn't like full on in that fight but moving forward debbie basically just called omni man out and now omni man ha he knows he's been found out so we're gonna there's only a couple episodes left in the season and we're gonna have to 
reckon at some point here between Mark and Omni Man and his mom and Cecil and D- Damien Darkblood. Although we didn't see Damien Darkblood in this episode, we definitely heard about him. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen if there's going to be a final fight that involves Omni Man and Damien Darkblood. They referred to Damien Darkblood as an unmovable um, object. So um, it seems like maybe even Damien and Omni Man would have a fight at some point because of that. Uh, we'll see. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of that Battle Beast character, that's for sure. And um, I don't know whether or not there's going to be multiple seasons of this, but I know there's plenty of comic material, and I'm hoping uh, we get to get to most of it. So I'm looking forward to the next episode. Hey, guys, let me know what you thought about this in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.